Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this part of the series we are going to talk about this component and it's called potentiometer. Basically we use it to control other components. For example we can change the uh, speed of a motor using this potentiometer. It has this little knob that we can rotate. So it's very important to know how to use the potentiometer and in this video we are going to cover that. So before we get started make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon and let's get started. So before we start talking about this potentiometer, I highly recommend you to watch my previous video because it's related to this one. That's because the potentiometer is uh, two resistors in series. So let's take an example. Basically we are going to connect this potentiometer with a power supply like 5 volts. And you could think of this potentiometer as two uh, variable resistance. So we have the first resistor. Then we have the second. We are going to connect this side to the ground and the other one to the 5 volts. But the resistance of these resistors is going to be changed when we are rotating this knob. So this is a variable resistance. We have three legs. So this is the first one. Then we have this one on the right side. And we have the middle leg which is actually this one that we are going to use to read the analog voltages basically we are going to connect this one to the 5 volts and this leg to the ground then we are going to read the analog voltage using the middle one for example we are going to connect it to the pin A3 and it's going to return the voltage for example this one we can call it V2 but before that, you need to understand how the resistance of these resistors are changing. Basically, when you rotate the knob all the way to the right, for example, in this case, the first resistance, for example, let's call this one R1, and this is R2. So when we rotate the knob all the way to the right, R1 is going to be 0 ohm, and R2 is going to be 10K. This could be 5K as well but the potentiometer that I have has the 10k value and if we rotate the knob all the way to the left R1 is gonna be 10k R2 is gonna be 0 and if we put it in the middle R1 is gonna be 5k and R2 is gonna be 5k so the potentiometer is two variable resistance that is changing when we are rotating the knob but always when we sum these it's going to be 10k so in this case 5 plus 5 is 10k ohms now let's use the ohms law to calculate the voltage v2 so we have the current and the ohms law said that the voltage equals the resistance times the current here it's the total resistance which is 10k so we can calculate the current in our circuit it's 5 volts over 10k and now we have the current in this circuit we can calculate the voltage V2 so the voltage that we are going to read from the Arduino is gonna be the resistance which is R2 times the current which we have calculated it's 5 divided by 10k let's take this example when we rotate the knob all the way to the left R2 is gonna be 0 so when we multiply 0 by 5 divided by 10k it's gonna be 0 volts and if we take this example when we rotate the knob all the way to the right R2 is gonna be 10k so if we multiply 10k by the current it's gonna be 5 volts and of course if it's in the middle it's going to return the value 2.5 volts now we are going to connect this potentiometer then we are going to use this middle leg to read the voltage so to make this circuit you will need the Arduino Uno a breadboard and the potentiometer of course so first of all I'm gonna connect the 5 volts 
which is this pin to one of these points in our breadboard then we need to connect this side to the 5 volts you just need to put the two legs in the same column then let's go back to the ground so I'm gonna connect the left leg of the potentiometer to the ground now we can read the voltage from the middle one so I'm gonna use this jumper wire and let's go from the middle leg to one of the analog pins for example I'm gonna use the pin A2 which is this one then let's go back to the Arduino IDE so first of all I'm gonna add few variables like the pin A2 using int I'm gonna call it read pin and it's the pin A2 you could use A3 as well it's up to you also we need to put the value that we are going to read into another variable using int I'm gonna call it read value and under the setup function we need to use the pin mode so we are going to use the pin A2 which is read pin as an input so make sure to add that then we are going to use the function analog read which we have talked about in the previous video we are going to give it the pin number which is read pin and it's going to return the voltage so I'm gonna restore it in the variable read value using read value equals the returned value but also we need to display it using the serial monitor so as usual to use the serial monitor we need to use serial dot begin and let's pass in the 9600 then we can print the value of this variable using serial dot print ln and let's pass in the name which is read value for now we are reading the value just once that's because we are using the setup function but let's go ahead and put these lines of code under the loop function so that we can read the value over and over again and display it using the serial monitor let's save our script so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so that you could see the whole code and let's upload it then we need to open up the serial monitor and as you can see we have these values and when I rotate the knob it's gonna be changed for example let's rotate it all the way to the right it's 1023 that means 5 volts and if I rotate it to the other side as you can see it's decreasing and now I'm reading the value 0 you could also try to put it in the middle which is about 500 so we are going to use this potentiometer in so many projects for example to adjust the brightness of an LED we could use it to change the speed of a motor and so on finally I'm gonna show you how to convert the value to a voltage and to do that we are going to add another variable and it's gonna be a float so a float is a pointing number that's because the voltage is not a whole number it could be 2.5 volts and so on and the type is called float I'm gonna call it V then to change this value we are going to use the rule of 3 so if the 1023 is 5 volts we can convert the read value to a voltage using read value times 5 over 1023 but we have one problem about the programming language so when we divide a whole number by a whole number it's gonna return a whole number as well so this is gonna be 0 in some cases and to fix that issue we need to tell the program that this is a float basically we could use the point the same thing over here so let's upload the code again then let's open up the serial monitor and as you can see we have here 0 0.1 we could change the voltage by rotating this knob for example we can reach the value of 5 volts that's because the knob is all the way to the right and if I try to put it in the middle we can get 2.5 volts so you see the importance of uh, this conversion 
you need to learn how to convert a range of numbers to another range by using the rule of three. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon. And I will see you in the next video.